If you're watching TRTS Clips, a clip-sized content playlist that encloses experiences and stories of some of the most amazing intellectually sound people from different walks of life, you enjoy this particular clip and don't forget to check out the entire playlist. If you like it, please support us by sharing it. Now, without further ado, the guest is all yours. I remember graduating out of engineering, knowing about 30 computer languages, right? Oh. And I used to be confident, comfortable with the fact that most things about most things I'm aware of. Mm. But in the last 18, 20 years, it's been such a great explosion. It's a massive explosion yeah. that today, I mean, I couldn't tell you that I know even most of the computer language names. Obviously, one is that I'm no longer yeah. in the computer science development space. Exactly. I'm more in digital marketing. I'm more of a business person. I'm more of a management yeah. uh, person, a leader. Even if I was in computer science, I don't think I could tell you that, uh, you know, I know everything about everything tech. Exactly. So I think one has to be aware that that time has passed when you knew everything about everything. So therefore, it is extremely important to be very careful and cognizant of what will you be a specialist in and then go be a specialist in that and then build a network, build a collaborative collaboration with a lot of other folks on who are good in their respective areas. Yeah. So that's number one is the attitude towards technology, I would say. Number two, I would say is attitude towards how we see ourselves in okay. respect of the rest of the globe. I think when I was graduating, I think that time it, it was very much the ticket to success to go to a foreign country oh. and go make a career in a foreign country, right? So yeah. India was supposed to be simply a supplier Exactly. Of trained, enterprising, hardworking, analytical oriented talent, right? So the ticket to success was go on site or somewhere find a way to get out of India. Yeah. I feel now it's been a complete 180 degree change that now I see an extremely large set of extremely smart, extremely hardworking, extremely confident people and professionals who want to sit in India and win the globe. Exactly. Right. They, they want to be global winners sitting out of that. And I am extremely pleased by that because, you know, I never had any desire to go overseas. Obviously, you know, uh, graduating when I did with computer science, literally every six months I had the opportunity to go overseas and I chose not to take it. I only went overseas once that too in 2011, uh, just about for a year. And then I came back. OK. Right. So I am actually personally quite thrilled that the Indian professional mindset has moved on from being somebody who's seeking an employment in a global corporation, preferably outside of India, to sitting in India and building for the world, sitting in India and having customers from around the world, sitting in India and having investors from around the world. Yeah. So that, I think, is a sea change in the ambition of the Indian professional. And I, would, I find that extremely energizing. The third, I would say, is the uh, change in the Indian society and the outlook towards a lot of things, right? Whether it is the outlook towards enabling your boys and girls, right? Enabling your children to go be an entrepreneur. I think when I started out, being an entrepreneur was deemed to be extremely risky and not for the middle class. But now you see a whole crop of professionals who are, you know, come from, from our kind of backgrounds, but yeah. are happy to be entrepreneurs. And the second aspect I would say is the society's general outlook towards minorities, right? I actually feel extremely proud about a few facts that, you know, when I was growing up, girls working was relatively uncommon, right? Mm -hmm. In my class of computer science of 30, <laughs> there were only six girl students, okay. right? So which is 20%. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember overhearing conversations that where if a girl has to wear spectacles, parents would be worrying about how will she get married. Yeah. So from that being the attitude of the society in, 20, in 1980s to in 2020, where India has government mandated six months maternity leave, right? So exactly. that leapfrogging, right? And even now, countries like US or uh, UK or others, they have about 12 weeks of mat leave, right? Okay. So I think the Indian society's ability to go from being a little backward to being the world's foremost in the span of one generation is extremely encouraging, extremely fascinating, right? Similar yeah. is the attitude towards, let's say, minorities, including the LGBTQ plus community, right? So whether it is the role of some progressive movies or it is the role of activists who have been courageous 
or it is the people who themselves have been from the minority communities for their courage to come out right exactly but we've gone from being not talking about a certain topic or talking about a certain topic only to mock that topic to ha- having very progressive laws and pro- very progressive participants of the society in one generation so i yeah. think this ability this dynamic ability of the indian society is my third uh, point here is that we are a very dynamic society i think all exactly. of us need to take the responsibility of explaining india and the indian society to people worldwide i think a mm. lot of people have a lot of this very narrow very backward very regressive kind of view of what india or indian society is so i for one for example i wasn't very thrilled with the success of slum dog millionaire not because yeah. it's a bad movie not because yeah. it's a bad theme but because it it stereotypes india exactly india is slum dog millionaire but india is a lot of other things india is also tare zameen par which exactly. is telling the story of uh children and people with dyslexia india is also hichki right yeah. which is talking about tourette syndrome india is also all the other media about lgbtq india is also about women rights so india is about a lot of things india is not a society that you can spend 5 minutes and understand so i feel those are the things about technology about our aspirations and about our multi faceted society